Okay, I'm at my first delivered. Since my last video, I accepted a third delivered order today, first thing in the morning. Well, at 11 o'clock when the place opens, I needed to use four bags. I know it looks like three, but there's a bag on the bottom that the stuff is very heavy in that one. So I had to split it up because there's no way I could get that in when I get there, just leaving it all in one bag. So I'm really happy that I have four of these bags or I wouldn't be able to make it properly. These bags really do help with the delivery. So stay tuned. This is order number two. It's at a Jersey Mike Subs and driving it to the drop off now. And the last order, the one I took first thing in the morning um, as a bonus delivery is paying $25. It was $15.37 for the tip. And oh, and $12.50 $12 base pay. And that first one that I took at the last minute this morning gave me an extra $5. That's why I showed that $5 bill. Mickey D's has a lot of pull. I am picking up my last order in the Westbury area. So I accepted a couple of Uber Eats orders. And this is where I'm delivering to. It's incredible. I'm passing farms. Massive property, horses, and it's just crazy. I'm like, wow. I mean, look at that. Oh, my God. Someone's home. Incredible. Love the flag. Um, just, just amazing. I drove I drove through so many wooded areas today and I was only in Westbury I drove to the college I took the long route look at that house uh, sorry just very unique and beautiful mini mansions just crazy I'm parked for a moment I'm waiting at the light Nothing like a stone wall around your property. It's just so beautiful. A lot of woods, farm, horses, property, real estate, real estate, real estate. Unbelievable. This was the third order that I picked up. It was a $50 payout. I drove from Jericho to Elmont and three more boxes was added to this. By the time I got these in my car, the last bag, I got the three boxes in. A lot of food from a guac shop. They are getting security. This is a job fair of some kind that's going on here. They're getting security. I just spoke with the woman. They gotta come. I can't get on the other side of that. I'm not allowed to. And that would take me at least 30 minutes to go back and forth. So in a few minutes, I'll find out what I need to do to get the food over there. She said she's getting someone to assist me. It's incredible. They spent, they sent security and they said, please just stay here. We'll come back with your bags and we'll bring the food up. That's what we're here to do. Wow. This is a beautiful spot. I've been watching this over the years. They really built it up. All the parkings over there. It's very different from... I used to live 10 minutes down the road. It's very different. It's all modern, 21st century. They revamped it. It's just gorgeous. It's a beautiful building, isn't it? And I see the Belmont Hall. I guess people hang here. <laughs> Ticketmaster, concierge, and they're having this job fair. Oh, now I can show you. Let's, let's see. UBS Arena Hiring Fair. Instructions, pull into gate five, enter in diamond parking lot, come to the front entrance of UPS, UBS, and I couldn't, and, and then when I got on the phone, because it said to call, she said, I will send security out, because you can't get on to this side. You're not allowed to. I came back for the last bag. Beautiful building. And... On the other side of here is all outside picnic tables and it's gorgeous. When I first pulled up, I got to see it and it goes all the way back there. It really is beautiful. Amazing. 
I've been living in Nassau County all my life. It's amazing when you see transformation happen. Here he comes, they're bringing back my bags. Excellent. So three delivered deliveries, $116.76, and about, I think I hit 57 miles. Not too bad. Now I'm going to complete just a few more Ubers. I knew it would be a car day today. It was nice because I've been working in the food stores constantly lately. But it's it, it, it took a lot, that last order. When I walked in, the workers, well, one of them, she was like, there's three more boxes, you know. And I was like, yeah, well, let me get myself situated and ready. They wouldn't have given it to me if I couldn't handle it. They know what kind of car I have, and I just made it. And I could have put another um, bag here in the front seat. And I got lucky. Usually, now I'm learning with larger orders like that. I already saw on the notes, please call us when you get here. So that's telling me that someone's going to assist me. They want to know you're outside. Most of the time, they're sending people out there. Today, I delivered to the college in old, uh, I think it's old Westbury around whatever that college is, SUNY, I believe. And the dir directions made me go the long way. So she stayed on the phone with me and I was driving through farmland and horses and very rich property. And I was like, why do they do that? Why didn't they just send me to 107? And I could have just went around. It would have been so much easier. If she didn't, I mean, she was on the phone with me, the young lady, 10 minutes telling me, step by step how to drive to get there because if you're not familiar with the area it's scary you're by yourself you're in the middle of farmland there's nobody really around there's workers on the land taking care of the horses you know i would have to flag someone down if i needed help and i was driving by in my opinion mansions just you know all gated communities beautiful but see they came outside the kids and said oh park your car right there we'll bring it right on in they had the um new jersey subs and then she said we have a lot going on in the next couple of weeks now if they give you this job again you know where to come i was like oh thank you so much courtney she was really nice so you do have to i mean if i had to walk that up to the front door would have, would, it, would have that killed me? No. But because I'm in decent shape, and if I could leave my car right there, that big arena. But when I got the woman on the phone, she was like, oh, no, no, no. You can't pull up to the door. So we will send security out for you. And the guys were so nice. They're like, you leave your car right here. We'll be back in five minutes with your bags. That's what we're here to do. I got really lucky. And then I just scooted home. I just stayed off the Cross Island and the parkway. I just headed home on Hempstead Turnpike. And it was worth it. It was all worth it. So I'm going to do a few more deliveries. And I'm in it to win it, guys. I had to get through this week, and I did it. I'm not a wuss. I'm changing my life. It's worth it. Every, every day, I, I'm, I'm making it. So if you watched, I just uploaded a video that I put together throughout the course of the day when I first woke up, and it, it was tough. Okay, I'll see you soon, and have a good one. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.